Aw, shit, you knew this shit was gonna happen. Now, what is the purpose of Brutal Buffet? It's more to focus on Brutal Death, the ones that don't sound too slammy. And then also, if there's any slam releases that I forgot to mention in Slams of the Month, this is the fucking place it's gonna fucking end up. And no, we're not getting rid of Slams of the Month either. If anything, we're fucking adding on to this shit. I'm giving you motherfucking DLC for free in this bitch. I feel like fucking Sony when they got fucking hacked and shit and gave everyone fucking PlayStation Plus for fucking three months for free. But instead, this motherfucker fucker stain. We're gonna start this off with me fixing my fucking mistake from Slam of the Month because I'm fucking human and not perfect. So that being said, remember when I fucking mentioned Perversity Denied and I fucking used Despondency's art cover for it and yet I didn't even fucking mention Despondency? Well now I'm gonna fucking mention Despondency. Now I'm not really gonna fully talk and show off Despondency because I'm actually waiting for the fucking full length to drop and shit, but they do have two singles out now on NSE, New Standard Elite. So here's a preview of one of their singles, Inherited Animosity. Like I said, not gonna mention it that much because we're all gonna wait for that fucking album to drop, bitch. <laughs> Are right, you ready for that startup now? Because now we're gonna fucking really start up and shit. First off, we have Embodied Torment with their song Tongue of Iron MMXXIV. I like how it starts off slow and then it goes that little clean part. It's like all calm and shit and then bam, it fucks you up right again. <laughs> And now I'm gonna fix another mistake. Remember when my dumbass in the slams of the month fucking said the death king for sickening fatal discharge? Yeah, my apologies for that, buddy. I was actually talking about the album from Sickening. The band Sickening gave us a nine track album titled The Death King and that's what I was actually fucking talking about. That's what I was trying to mention, but it was saved for this fucking shit. <laughs> Next up, we got some mass killing brutality from Russia and Curable, and they gave us their debut album Self Burial that was released on Coyote Records. <laughs> Next up, we got a pretty fucking brutal title. We got Unholy Beheading in the name of your fucking God. It is some fucking chaotic Colombian brutality and holy shit, it is a fast ass track. <laughs> This next one's really worth the fucking listen to because oof, he's that fucking, that sound, bro. It's so fucking raw. Here we have more extension with their four track EP, Serial Butchery. <laughs> Get ready for some sickening, gross, fucking disgusting brutality because next up we have Piss Shitter and their fucking release, Human Toilet Garbage Piss. And boy, does that title really fucking match up to all this shit I just said. <laughs> Next up, we got Tortured, and they gave us a three-track demo titled Wrapped in Rope. But pretty much that motherfucker got strangled. <laughs> Oof, remember fucking Endless Outrage, you guys? I fucking mentioned that shit in Slams the fucking month. Now we finally got their fucking album in Heaven of Fear. It is some sick Asian slamming brutality you do not want to fucking miss. <laughs> Of 
For this next one, we got Nick, Alex, and Bruno really fucking abusing their power with this one. Because they gave us Foul Deformity with their six track EP Disgust. And boy, is it really fucking disgustingly heavy. <laughs> Up next, we got a fucking classic in the making. Into the Ashes gave us a fucking nine track finger licking good album consumed by the negative dimension. We talk in dimensions and shit. This is fucking dangerous. This next band is not even fucking around with how brutal they're fucking getting. They don't even have no more fucking bitch ass, punk ass, bitch ass fucking program drums anymore. They got the fucking real deal going on now. Two Piece Combo Exterminated gave us a preview of their upcoming album with this track, Beyond Eternal Suffering. <laughs> Holy shit, next up we have some Japanese brutality. How can you smile like that? Murder by Death Zombie from Hell. Which, by the way, is a pretty fucking sick name. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Pretty, it's pretty metal if you fucking agree with me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this next release makes your booger- What the fuck? This next release is gonna make boogers come out of your ass and your ass hairs come out of your fucking nostrils. We have an insane 10-track album from Posthumous Regurgitation and it is titled The Coroner's Guide to the Cadaveric Cuisine or to Cadaveric Cuisine. Not to the- There's a fucking difference. You know how fucking YouTube is and shit. One little fucking misspell takes you to fucking Pornhub. Up next, we have a two-track demo from Two Man Brutality Impalement. <laughs> Oh shit, now we got some fucking Russian brutality entering the fucking match. Cause now we got Agent Orange back with their war induced album Time to Waste. <laughs> This next one, you guys should have probably already checked it out, but if not, it's definitely worth a listen because we got some brutality from Austria and holy shit. Child Cemetery gave us a brutal ass fucking 11 track album, Rebirth, Revived, and Rekilled. And Jesus fucking a duck. Look at that fucking artwork. Next up, we got a super gross, disgusting fucking split from Crypt Rock and fucking Radiologist. And they gave us their EP, Elethal Dose. It's so fucking gross, it will make you feel like fucking meth mites are growing their own fucking pubes out of your ball sack. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to fucking kind of deep dive a little bit because we got Legacy of Torment and they're switching up on you with their fucking six track EP, Inherited Methods of Cruelty. Inherited Methods of Cruelty, in case you didn't fucking hear me. Let me see this shit correctly. Am I fucking reading that? I don't need fucking glasses. Next up, we have fucking more brutality from fucking Texas. We got a three track demo from Basement Burial. Check that shit out.
You guys heard me mention this one before on Slams of the Month, and if you haven't, well, now we have Night of the Fucking Undead Orgy by Raped by Fucking Zombies. It's actually Raped by Zombies. I just include the fucking just for more dramatic effect. It's eight tracks, and god damn it, that's not a fuck enough. I am not satisfied. Actually, I am satisfied, but I'm just saying I want fucking more because that's how good it was. <laughs> Next, we have a hellish black and fucking single titled Internal Execution by Summoning Beyond the Grave. <laughs> Next up, we have a four track EP titled Brutalization from Dark Rage. <laughs> Now, this is the first fucking episode of Brutal Buffet, and in case you thought we're gonna fucking slow down, fuck now. Fuck that shit. This is the first fucking episode, and we're turning this bitch up a notch. Blasting back to the fucking scene with their fourth long awaited fucking album, Brodequin gave us their album, Harbringer of Whoa. I think that's how you say it. Or is it Whoa? And it is filled with 10 classic tracks of brutality, and it's now available on Season of Mist. Fuck yeah, bitch. next one is not really more of like specified on a, a single or whatever and shit or specific release whatever the fuck it's more like just focusing on the band itself we got some more brutality from arizona just like alongside fucking nuclear remains we got fucking red sleeves and just to give you a fucking taste of what they sound like here's severed and sodomized brutal death metal may not be native to arizona but they definitely are making it their bitch <laughs> Now, I love Aborted and shit, don't get me wrong. They're one of the fucking first bands to get me into the whole fucking brutal scene and shit and loving all these fucking other bands that are better than Aborted now. But this latest album... I don't fucking know. I mean, it's good as a metal album or like an extreme metal album and stuff because I always like to see like metal in different ways and shit like that. Just appreciate it in different ways and stuff. But as far as brutality goes, fuck it did not fucking deliver. My fucking dick was just like this, fucking waiting to fucking listen to this album. And then it was like, because <laughs> in their new album, Vault of Horrors, it kind of swayed away from the brutality we're so used to. It's heartbreaking and saddening. But I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of their new album vault of horrors and especially with all those questionable features i saw shadow of intent in there and i was just like yeah no yeah no yeah no Sorry, I had to step out for a second and shit, but it's alright because we're gonna take a breather because we're gonna wash that shit down with some more fucking brutality because Vitriol has come to the fucking rescue with their new album, Suffer and Become. Thank fucking goodness. <laughs> And in case that wasn't enough for you guys, here we got some fucking dessert to make us feel emotionally stable. Up next, giving us a teaser from their upcoming album, Submerged gave us their new single, Infested with Barnacles, and my god, look at that fucking artwork. Holy fucking elephant penis stuck in a kitten. It's sick. Fuck you, Barnacle Boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, you guys, it's time for a fucking smoke break. And how else should we go about it other than fucking jamming the new single Scante from the fucking dummy deaf induced band Body Box? So beloved, so graceful, so brutal. <laughs> You know, this really got some Pharaoh Munch, Simon Says type fucking vibes. I'd really be rubbing on my titties to this shit. Now, I know it seems like we're gonna end this off shortly, but Brutal Buffet is more like the purpose of showing you the damage after a really bad earthquake. All the brutal tunes that deserve to be fucking hurt. And what way is better to end it off when then bringing up the fucking almighty upcoming secreted? I was gonna feature them on Slams of the Month because they got them chuggy, chunky, funky monkey riffs. But like I said, what other fucking way is better than ending off the premiere brutal buffet was some good old dinky fucking slams finalizing this shit here we got secreted with their fucking album intoxicated primitive anthropophagus <laughs> you guys that about does it for the first episode of brutal buffet i know it seemed pretty short and stuff but it's because i was supposed to get this done before basically the middle of march and i got sick i got mentally sick and then i got sick sick and right now i'm actually fucking sick sick this is like day fucking three but i fucking delivered bitch and i try to bring up some of the fucking releases i got released in fucking march because i was only gonna do january and fucking february in the beginning i don't know why i'm doing all these hand gestures but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you enjoy the releases that were mentioned on here and if you listen to them try not to smoke too much that being said i'll see you next time on maybe a new series i might go crack it and make two more fucking series who knows all right you guys thank you guys for the support be sure to support the bands i'm reggie Torres. come i'm gonna take this with me to the bathroom and i'm gonna take a shit